Hello guys and welcome back to another blog of Excel help. Today we are going to cover two base two important formulas which is count and sum. You have subcategories of count where different formulas which can be used for different purposes. Similarly sum as well you have different uh, subcategories different types of formulas that can be used for other purposes. So let's start off with the count um, uh, series of formulas. Let's start count the formula that is required to count the number of blank cells. That formula name is count blank. Now a simple way is here. Well, let's uh, type the formula as count blank and we'll hit a tab and we will select this column A as the range. Close the bracket and hit enter. So it's going to tell us that there is 1,048,574 blank cells. Um, the overall blank cells in a particular uh, column will be uh, 104876. So I'm going to just delete this. Uh, it will show that it's 104876. So I'm going to do a Ctrl Z. Uh, this is how you can actually calculate the number of blank cells in a particular range. So this uh, range that I've considered is the entire column A. You can actually change the range and bring it to a much uh, required or a smaller size. So moving on to the counting the number of non-blank cells. The formula required for that is uh, counter. So we'll start writing the formula that's equal to C-O-U-N-T-A, uh, open the bracket or a tab, and we will select the column D, and we will close the bracket here. So there are two uh, uh, cells where the data is there. Uh, the remaining is blank. If I just delete one of them, it shows that there is only one uh, uh, cell that has the data there. So let's let's move on to the numeric cells. Uh, counting the numeric cells will be any cells with only the numbers. If there is any text in it, it will uh, it will ignore that and it will consider that as a uh, blank cell. So the formula for that is actually just the word count. I'm going to select the column G here and close the bracket. It will say 0. Now below the count if I say 1, 2, 3, it will say as 1. And if I go ahead and uh, increase that uh, the number of uh, cells containing the numbers, it will show that there are 5. So even if I do delete count, there is no change in that. It will still show that there are 5 cells with the numbers here. Right, so, okay, now moving on to the next uh, uh, formula. So here we are going to uh, understand how, how many, okay, how to calculate uh, a particular uh, set of numbers have been repeated in a cell range. Um, it can be a number or a text. The formula required is actually count if. I will come back to this greater than less than in a moment. So here I will just take an example. Here. So let's start writing equals C O U N T I F count if. I'm going to select the range here J. Now what am I looking at as a count here? Uh, let me see uh, if I'm going to take the number 4 I want to know how many times of number 4 is repeated so that will give me a 3 3 times so if I select that as change it to 6 it will say it's repeated twice so similarly if I use text here let me replace uh, the uh, in repeat the count if the word count if here and I will remove this 6 and type count if within double quotations. So I added an extra closing bracket. It will say five times. This is number one, and here we have four times. So it's repeated five times here. So this is how you will actually uh, uh, find out how many times a particular number or a text value has been repeated uh, in a data series. So greater than and less than. Now you can also write a formula like this which says count if. Again I will consider the range here. 
I will say in double quotes greater than 5 how many numbers are there so it's going to be a 5 8 so yep yeah, you see this here it says 8 so greater than 5 till 9 there are 8 numbers so similarly less than 5 is 6 here right so I and I hope that you have actually understood this uh, and I'll be moving on if you have any uh, queries on it please reach out to the comment section um, I am not seeing uh, people asking questions in the comment section so you you can go ahead and ask for ask your doubts in the comment section I will be happy to help you out so moving on to what is a count if s count if s is a logic that will uh, now this is a data range uh, let me tell you this is a data range first so here I'm going to use countif to find out how many um, in the month of January let's say Albert how many uh, conversions has he done uh, as new so if you're going to write the formula this is going to be a C O U N T I F S tab I will select the month first then I will type the month that I am considering as Jan then I will select column N and I will type the name there Albert then I am going to select column O and I want to know as how many new conversions he has done and close the bracket that will be one so we have Jan here four rows of data is there we have Albert where there is only two rows of data new there is only one and that is how you will get this this is a, um, a one formula where you can give multiple uh, conditions and you can actually uh, get the correct result out so if I'm going to change this to February it's going to give me two let's see Albert 2 both are new right so this is for count if now similarly there is something called sum if s now sum this is going to give you a count here the sum if s will give you the value of how much he has actually got for us got his conversion so the formula is simple s u m i f s open the bracket you will first give the sum range here then you will select the criteria range 1 which is not nothing but the month I will say Jan and then I will select the second criteria where I will select the name and the third criteria is going to be the type of conversion whether it's a new or an existing one so it is 500 for the month of January so if I say February 6034 yeah let's see 6034 so you can go ahead and take a screenshot of this and uh, practice this at home uh, in your laptop so um, there is another way of uh, getting these results in a much uh, uh, you know easier way rather than writing these formulas which is called as pivot tables once we reach uh, the chapter of pivot tables I will take the same example and uh, explain it to you uh, it should be pretty easy uh, with the use of pivot tables so again if you have any doubts you can uh, reach out to me on the comment section uh, the next class will be working on the lookup functions the vlookup the hlookup uh, and we will discuss in detail its syntax and how you can use it yeah all right then uh, you guys take care bye bye then